NATO allies Turkey and Greece have locked horns twice over the past two weeks, and relations between the two countries have seen a marked downturn this year. As the two neighbors have seen frequent flare-ups, this latest spat over gas reserves and maritime rights has prompted fears that tensions could escalate further. So, is the war between Greece and Turkey a real possibility? And if these two countries ever face against each other, who do you think will win? Let's compare. The current population of Greece is 10.4 million, which ranks number 87 in the list of countries by population, while the current population of Turkey is 84.4 million, which is equivalent to 1.08% of the total world population and ranks number 17 in the world. The total area of Turkey is 769,630 km square, which is six times bigger compared to Greece. Defense spending is one of the most direct ways of measuring a country's potential military capability. The latest defense budget of Greece is 4.8 billion US dollars, while Turkey is 19 billion US dollars, which is four times higher than Greece. The Hellenic Armed Forces Army are the military forces of Greece. It consists of three professional uniformed services, that is, the Hellenic Army, the Hellenic Navy, and the Hellenic Air Forces. The Hellenic Army is the largest of the three branches of the Hellenic Armed Forces, while the Turkish Armed Forces are the military forces of the Republic of Turkey. They are the second largest standing military force in NATO after the U.S. Armed Forces. They also consist of the land forces, the naval forces, and the air forces. The Turkish army operating on land is the largest component of the Turkish armed forces with 265,000 active military troops, while the Hellenic army has only 100,000 active troops. The Turkish Air Force has 60,000 active personnel, which is nearly two times compared to the Hellenic Air Force. Even the active naval force of Greece is still less compared to Turkey. But as for reserve personnel, the Hellenic Armed Force Forces are more than the Turkish Armed Forces, comprising of 550,000. The main aircraft of the Hellenic Air Forces include the Mirage 2000, F-4 Phantom II and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. And as for helicopters, they mainly use the Bell 205 and Eurocopter AS-332. The Hellenic Air Forces use Embraer E-99 for airborne early warning and control, Bombardier CL-415 for aerial firefighting, and Lockheed C-130 for transportation. The main combat aircraft of the Turkish Air Forces are the same as the Hellenic Air Forces, that is, the F-4 Phantom II and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. They had previously received eight F-16s that were purchased directly from the United States, bringing the total number of the F-16s received by the Air Force to 240. The main helicopters used by them include the Bell UH-1, Sikorsky S-70 and the Eurocopter AS-332. Other modern platforms that have entered service is the Boeing 737 Peace Eagle for, for airborne early warning and control, the Airbus A400M Atlas for strategic airlift and KC-135 Stratotanker for aerial refueling. Turkey placed an order for 30 F-35 Lightning IIs with four delivered to Luke Air Force Base and then had the order cancelled due to the country's acquisition of the S-400 SAM systems from Russia. Now talking about quantity-wise, the total combat aircraft of the Hellenic Air Forces is 187 versus 206 to that of Turkish Air Forces. They have far too less helicopters, trainers, and even transports compared to its rival. So this gives a total of 576 total aircraft of the Hellenic Air Forces, which is half compared to Turkish Air Forces. History shows that rancor on land or in the air can easily sprawl out to the sea or a saltwater conflict could ensue independently of events ashore. The Hellenic Navy relies mainly on frigates as its primary surface heavy boats and the types operated are the Hydro class and the Ely class. The Hellenic Navy Submarine Command operates 11 submarines of four types. The newest and most advanced type operated is the Type 214 Papa Nicholas class. 
They are also equipped with Osprey and Asheville classes, which serve as gunboats and various types of other ships and mine warfares. While the class of frigates of the Turkish naval force include Gabia class, Barbaros class and the Yavuz class. Submarines operated by them are the Adelaide class, the Previz class and the Gur class submarines. The Turkish naval force also operates Corvettes and the Corvettes class operated are the Ada class and the Burak class. Both the naval forces do not use aircraft carriers and destroyers. Talking about numbers, the Turkish Navy has 16 frigates, which is just a bit more than the Hellenic naval forces. Submarines used by both the naval forces are almost equal in number, and the Turkish Navy operates 10 numbers of corvettes, while the Hellenic Navy do not operate them. Both the naval force has equal number of coastal patrol, but as for the mine warfare, the Hellenic naval forces are less compared to its rival. Hence, the total fleet strength of the Hellenic naval force is 116 versus 149 to that of the Turkish naval force. The heavy equipment and weaponry of the Hellenic army is of mostly foreign manufacture from American, British, French, German and other suppliers. Exception are the Kentaurus and the Leonidas armored fighting vehicles which are built in Greece by the Hellenic vehicle industry. Main battle tanks of the Hellenic Army forces include the Leopard 2A6 HEL, Leopard 2A4 and Leopard 1A5 which are German-made. The US tanks include M48A5 and M60A3. The Hellenic Army used the RM70 and the US-270 multiple rocket launchers. Turkish Army Force also used the M270 MLRS, besides M270, they also used the T122, MGM-140 ATACMS, T107 and T300. The main battle tanks of the Turkish Army Force are the Atlay, Leopard 2, Leopard 1, M60 Patton and the M48 Patton. They have over a total of 2,380 number of tanks versus 1,913 to that of Greece. The armor fighting vehicles of the Turkish land forces almost double than that of the Hellenic army. They even have more self-propelled artillery, rocket projectors and field artillery as well. Anyway, that was the military comparison between Greece and Turkey. Even with the current situation that is going on as there have been frequent flare-ups, let's hope that both of them won't blunder into war with each other so it won't end in a catastrophe. Thank you guys for watching and please do not forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell for more updates. Bye-bye.